हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर न्यू वीडियो आई एम डॉक्टर फराहत अली एंड यू आर वाचिंग डॉक्टर स्क्वेयर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न दैट हाउ वी कैन मेक एक्सप्लोरेटरी फैक्टर एनालिसिस टेबल इन वर्ड फाइल अकॉर्डिंग टू ए पी एडिशन बट बिफोर मूविंग टू द ए पी एडिशन एक्सप्लोरेटरी फैक्टर एनालिसिस टेबल वी विल सी दैट हाउ वी कैन परफॉर्म एक्सप्लोरेटरी फैक्टर एनालिसिस इन एस वर्जन If you are new to our channel, please do not forget to subscribe the channel. So let's start. First of all, I have a data file, and I am going to perform exploratory factor analysis in SPSS version. I am going to click on Analyze. In Analyze, you will see Dimension Reduction option. Here you will find out Factor option, and you have to move out all of your statements into the variable portion i have a data file where i have a orientation scale and self acceptance community feelings affiliation social recognition financial success and appealing appearance is the sub scale of this orientation scale there are two main orientation scale intrinsic orientation and extrinsic orientation and these are the sub scale of these two major scales so we are going to perform exploratory factor analysis on this data and uh, we will see what kind of outcomes comes out and uh, how we can convert this outcome into a aps 7th edition table and uh, if you want to perform the same analysis on the on this data set the data set set will be available under the video description so you can download it and you can practice according to your need and uh, here i'm going to place all of the items on the variable portion spss call these items as variables so you can place all of your items or statements or the questions that you have asked about the particular scale and i have placed all of them here you have to go to descriptive and here you can click on emo bale test of sphericity to check out whether we have enough data enough sample size to perform this analysis and from extraction you can choose principal component analysis if you are a psychology student you can choose principal axis factoring and uh, here i have chosen fixed number of factors six you can choose first of all based on eigen value and you have to click on scree plot and there is a third method that i have already explained in one of my previous video it will be shown to you and you can check under the description that how you can perform factor analysis and why do you do you have to check the scree plot and based on eigen value option i am going to check fixed number of factors because we have six factors and uh, i am going to choose this option and uh, in the rotation you can choose vary max or if you are choosing principal axis factoring then you can go for pro max and direct oblimen if you are a psychology student because i am a media student so i am going to choose vary max and uh, click on the continue button and next then you have to select the option button and here you can sort by size select and uh, check the suppressed mall coefficient and select here 0.40 you can choose the 0.30 value as well but it's recommended in some of the books to choose to keep this value as to 0.40 i am going to keep it to 0.40 and you have to click on the okay button now you will see then an output has been appeared in front of me where we have kmo barley test and uh, it's uh, showing Kaiser Mayer Olken Mayer of sampling adequacy, which is good because this value is above 0.60, and Barley test of sufficiency is showing that how much relationship is among the statements, and it's also showing the good. And uh, these are the commonalities and uh, total variance explained table. I'm going for table number rotated component matrix. This table is showing me that how the statements and the 
loadings of each statement if you are if you will see the factor number 1 the loading of each item is here and most of the items have loading above 0.70 it's recommended that the threshold is 0.70 and each item should hold a loading of 0.70 but 0.60 is also acceptable or 0.50 is also acceptable if average variance explained is above 0.50 and that ave is calculated while we perform confirmatory factor analysis we will discuss this thing in the next video and here you can see these are all the values some of the items are loading on the two factors we can see that whether we should remove them or should we should keep them but in this particular video we will me mainly focus on that how we can convert this table into apa 7th edition exploratory factor analysis table so i am going to take this table into excel file but before taking into the excel file you can see that whether there is no loading on the two factors and you can remove those items and uh, second thing after clearing the multiple loadings of uh, different items and clearing it you can rerun the analysis and here you have to choose suppress small coefficient option unchecked and uh, you have to click on the continue button now come back to the same table rotated component matrix and right click it click on the excel worksheet copy as and take this table into the excel sheet here i am going to paste this here and here i have all the statements and their related loadings of all the items okay what do i have to do now i can simply copy these all of the things and i can take this thing to the word file you can paste it here like this one or like this one it's up to you okay this option is also okay and this option is a bit okay i am going to keep this option first of all you can make the formatting of your all the statement here and then you can simply paste these things into the word file what i have to do now i am going to select the height of my statements here like row height it's 25 okay or you can choose it to the 35 as per your need now the things is quite better now and uh, you can change the color of this thing okay the you can choose choose no fill and choose the automatic black option now the statement is in the good form and you can now copy it and take this thing to the word file okay now it's look like this form or you can check this one okay so what do we have to do now i am going to select the no border option and select this option like this one and select the bottom border and then the top border and then the select, select the this the, this option here and the top border the next thing that you can do is to select this option and place the top border okay now you can mention factor loading here
vector loading and you can mention the scale name orientation scale here. Okay. Now you have prepared all of your items according to APA needs. You can convert this color into black one and you can choose the font as per your need. What do you have to do now? I you can choose the factors values and you have to bold it like this is the factor number one and you can add the factor one here. This is the factor one, then factor one is ending here. You can add factor two here, factor two, then choose the factor three. I have already made a table according to AP need. Here you can see orientation scale items, and here is factor loading. These are the six factors, and I have created a factor one feeling appearance here. These are the item, then factor two. This is the item of factor 2, this is the factor of item number 3, these are factor 4 and these are the items, and factor 5 and these are the item of factor 5. What you have to do, you can also select all of your values here and you can convert these value into just two decimals like this one and then you copy this, these values into the word file. It's the better one because APA tells us that you should have to men mention only two decimal values as I have mentioned here and you can convert all of your values from excel file to two decimal values and you can copy this these values and paste them here and make your adjust adjustments accord accordingly. I am going to place the link of uh, link of this document in the description. You can download this file and you can prepare your own document according to APA 7th edition if you are performing exploratory factor analysis. This is the whole procedure to perform exploratory factor analysis and to prepare the word file table of exploratory factor analysis. If you need any guideline, any help, you can add the command under the video. And you, if you want to download this file, you can go to the description and you can download this file and you can use it according to your own need. I hope you have liked this video. If you are want to watch more videos, please do subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.